What's up, Glam Tribe? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I'm going to be sharing my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. Ah, it's the first time ever I've shared this on this channel. However, I've been shopping this sale for years. It's a one-of-a-kind sale where the prices start off on sale on classic wardrobe items, fresh fall pieces to get you ready for the upcoming season, and then once the sale ends, the prices actually go up. So you don't get deeper discounts. They just go up. Um, and as in years past, card holders are able to access the sale first. I had to start shopping when the sale went public to everybody. Um, but just like years past, it depends on the level of your Nordstrom card or Nordy club that you have and you'll be given specific dates that you can start shopping the sale first. Um, the one difference this year in like kind of the alignment was the sale happened in August versus annually how it does in July because of everything happening clearly. And the other difference in it, which it can be a disappointment if you're going into the store, but so many people are shopping online is that there was a lot of products stocked online um, or just limited quantities in store. So I know that could be a pain point, but truly what I like to say is have a wish list of those items that you want. Um, you're usually able to preview the sale online and have a game plan around shopping, you guys. Always have a game plan around shopping. I can tell you I'm living proof of when you don't have a game plan, your wardrobe is overwhelming, it's all over the place. And when you have a game plan, you can have a clear vision to execute and successfully save money as well. So I had um, a couple of things I needed, especially for just refreshing my wardrobe for loungewear, pajamas to get like things that aren't fitting properly or worn throughout and things that are good in because we are also spending a lot more time at home, which I'm actually now okay with because now I have really cozy things to hang out in. Also, I need to freshen up like my fall wardrobe just a key, few key pieces here and there. I am still working out in the public as well as clearly working online creating content. So I have to look like wardrobe myself for a dual life. And I also live in Florida, so I don't wanna splurge on jackets or jeans right now or anything like that because I'm just not reaching for it that often. I left myself a little bit of playroom just to get some pieces in there that were just more like feel good purchases, but I know I'll definitely wear them when it comes to my fashion and a little outside of the practicality. And then last but not least, I know I need to fill in the gap for my boyfriend's wardrobe. Um, we ended up just settling on shoes, which I will show you because we weren't like overwhelmingly excited about the um, clothing items in particular for him. So I will be discussing the items on the rack, also showing you to try on, and then leaving the information down below in the description box with direct links to the items. And if they're out of stock, I'll leave something similar. And also I will be throwing up the prices on the screen in case I forget to mention it because the prices are important. It's a sale. So without further ado, let's get into what I got. So my first piece I'm actually the most excited about because I feel like I had a good stroke of luck in lounger because that was selling out like crazy, but I got my hands on a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I passed on it so many years before, but I went with like this, I think it's called Dusty Mauve if I'm not mistaken, but this is like kind of one of my go-to colors in my wardrobe. I can either wear this out or just wear it around the house when I don't want a full-on robe and just need a little extra layer of coziness. Now Barefoot Dreams, they are known for being incredibly soft. They have blankets. They had a pet bed this year. They branch into a lot of the home and lounge categories and truly they are that soft um so i'm really excited i got this this was definitely one of my more splurge items on the sale but i know i will have it for years the fit on this is true to size i went with a medium um if you are a little bit slimmer you could also size down in it i just have a little bit of broader shoulder so i really like it to be a true fit for me. So I stuck with mostly mediums and nearly everything. Now next up are my two lounge wear pieces that I got which they end up being a matching set but you can buy them separately. They're from BP um, which is a Nordstrom brand. They're individually they're selling for $24.90 and then after the sale they go up to $39 individually 
each. So a really good savings and you can mix and match these. So you can mix and match your sizing. You're not locked into one consistent sizing or you can just buy one of the pieces that you're interested in and mix it with existing loungewear that you have. I did do the full on jogger. I have these in a different print and I'm obsessed with them. I like live in them because they're cozy without being too heavy, which again is so, so critical for me surviving Florida. Um, I did have to go up in size in the top and do a large because that's all they had available, but I really don't mind. It'll just fit a little bit more oversized and will not lack on comfort. So I adore these. If you can find a print, just get it. They have really good prints overall, but I'm actually really happy I ended up with this one. It was on my wish list. <laughs> My next pickup were the Nordstrom Moonlight Dream Pajama Set. I did a short set, which I have a solid black one that I bought last year. And again, I'm obsessed with it because they're really soft and cozy and I can mix and match these pieces. Um, I ended up lucking up and finding a medium in the print that was on my wish list. I tell you all, I don't know what stroke of luck was over me but truly I was excited I was able to get my hands on it because this is another one that just sells, 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 sells out. You have to like keep your eye on it for it coming back in stock. But it's a really good savings because normally this set is $49 and on a sale is $29.90. I needed to also pick up underwear, which I grabbed some panties from Chantel. Um, this one is the thong. I feel like I'm sharing way too much information, but it's for good reason. So I grabbed two of the thongs and one of the briefs. The briefs I am obsessed with because they do not ride and they are completely seamless. I am such a stickler about seams and that's why I usually tend to wear like thongs but these are truly seamless if you're going for a full coverage panty um they have different styles like they'll have like the hipsters the bikini i went with like the hipster briefs because they sit up a little bit higher but i am obsessed and sold and need more um like i was saying seamless great these are $14.90 on sale, $20 off the sale and they will last you quite a while so they're a great investment underwear item um and they also have hanky panky which is normally what i go with on sale they're like the known to be like the most comfortable thong they're fully laced but i just need to switch it up and try something different and these will definitely be making some more some more waves into the underwear wardrobe <laughs> That wraps it up for my loungewear. I have to mention the Spanx leggings next. Now these I did not buy on this year's anniversary sale. I bought it on the last one, but they are so good and they make an annual appearance on it. They're like the faux leather leggings. They hold everything in and I just love it for the days that I just want to be kind of comfortable, but still like put together because I can easily layer um, longer pieces over it, sweaters, tunic tops, and pop on booties or pop on sneakers or if I'm going for a really quick athleisure on the go look and I want to be like kind of sporty, I can just do a regular t-shirt with some sneakers with this. So these are extremely versatile. If they're out of stock, there is a Nordstrom brand version of it that's also really great but if you can get your hands on these they're amazing they come in plus size and petites on the anniversary sale going into the sale i knew that i needed a new black jean i feel like i wear through those the most because they are the most frequented in my wardrobe um, and usually i go with premium denim from like a brand like page i'll try it on the mother jeans I just wasn't in the mindset to splurge even though I know that it is on sale and a savings. I opted to go to um, the brand Cut for cut From the Cloth and this is the Donna High Rise Skinny Jean. This is still a great denim even though it's not hundreds of dollars. This is actually $58.90 on sale and after the sale it goes to $89.50. The rise on this is perfect. If you're a little bit curvy this is great because it has a nice stretch and it just fits perfectly. I went into a size 8 on these and I also ordered the leopard print one. I know the leopard print is more on the like fashion spectrum for the jean but it is also a good fashion choice because leopard print is always reoccurring each season and if you find a really good print like they did it on this jean in particular you can layer it easy and then elevate it and make it look nice and chic. 
Another detail I do like about this black skinny jean is that it does have a raw edge finish. I love those raw edge finishes. I think they kind of like edgy but easy to wear. If I want to make it look more like polished I'll just simply like tuck it in and get rid of it but it's not overly distressed. It's just just enough. So this was one of my favorite pickups from the anniversary sale and completely out of my comfort zone, but definitely on my wardrobe needs, um, which was a brown faux leather moto jacket. This one is from Blank NYC. They always make like an annual appearance on the anniversary sale and it's the best time to save on this jacket. Now, if you don't have a black moto jacket and you feel like you need it, they did come out with it in that color as well. But for just softer styling purposes, just to give some dimension to my moto jacket collection, which I'm obsessed with, brown was a good choice for me. And when I styled it before with like a white rib knit dress, it just was like perfection with a little booty. So this was a pickup for me. I got it in a size medium. I actually ordered this with the leopard print jeans, but those haven't arrived yet. And when I popped into the store, I saw a medium there ready. And I just, I had to, cause if I'm somehow don't get my order, I will actually be heartbroken if I don't get this jacket. The jeans I'll live, but the jacket, is a must for me. So a little secret about me is that I have a hard time saying no to graphic tees, especially band tees. I just like the way that they style. They just add personality always to an outfit. And this one is no exception. This one's from Daydreamer on the sale. It has like the band graphic on the front and on the back. Um, this one is Def Leppard. Honestly, I don't know any of their music, but truly I like the color combination in this and that is exactly why I picked it. I end up oversizing in this. I, this is an XL. I'm normally a medium. These do run bigger, but I actually like the fact that I did buy it super oversized because I can just really style it like multiple ways and layer it in different ways that work for me. So this was like, again, one of the more frivolous things on the list I could do without it, but I was able to luck up on it. So I grabbed it. My other obsession is with dresses and I picked up one on sale again, more for like the fashion aspect of my fall wardrobe, but this is from Topshop. It's a faux wrap dress. It has really cool detailing. Like it's like a pleating to kind of complete it. And there's a zipper on the side to get into it. So it doesn't have that wrap functionality to it. It just has the illusion of it. And of course, a lovely split on the leg. This, when I purchased this, I could envision it initially kind of being for work, but the split is a little bit high. So just for like my casual outings with like my boyfriend or friends, like if we're going out to dinner really quick, this will be perfect for that. And I think I think it just like is a stunning color combination and it looks good on me. So I was really excited to pick this piece up. Another thing about this print is that I can truly carry it over through season. So if you can make this a little bit more summery with the right sandal or with a booty and a little jacket, make it perfect for fall. Moving into shoe category, I only purchased one pair for myself this year. I have a pretty robust shoe wardrobe, but I needed like a heel booty that was lighter color. I have white, I have black, but just a neutral kind of tan grayish vibe was what was missing for my wardrobe. This is the Mark Fisher O'Shea booty. It is a $99.90 on sale. It is a pointed toe um, and it is a little stiff to break in if you're a little wider in the front but you can definitely stretch these out and another great thing about this booty is that it came in multiple colors so there's a little something out there the Vince Camuto ones sell out all the time but I was able to snag these by the time the sale went public and I actually like it a little bit more um, it comes up a little higher on the ankle there's not a zip to get into it but it does have some elastic so you can easily slip your foot into the booty now these next pair of shoes are actually the shoes that I got for my boyfriend. They're from the Good Man brand, which is Russell Wilson's um, fashion line. These are called the Edge Sneaker. Such a great sneaker because they style perfectly. On sale, they're $129.90. Off the sale, they are $198. So great savings. Um, and they are a great quality, a great investment shoe. You get this for a guy, he'll have them for a while because he'll be able to really wear them and live in them and look great doing so. So it has 
the full leather upper that is black so just like this black on the back and then the white sole that is exposed um he liked the pink ones as well but he was like i just don't have anything to wear with them um one of my other friends he got the pink ones and he styled them perfectly but my boyfriend and i like we we're like neutral lovers so this popped up perfectly <laughs> All right, friends, that is all I have for you from this year's Nordstrom anniversary sale. Like I said, I did not venture outside to accessories or beauty because I just knew that I did not need anything from those categories. I stuck to like my plan and it worked. So I hope me sharing that with you helps you through like your shopping experiences through different sales, whether it's this one or a different one. And if you can't go out and buy a ton, that's okay. Just go into your wardrobe and make notes of what you need to refresh and make smart buying decisions. And you'll get your wardrobe exactly where you need it in the right amount of time for you without going overboard and breaking the bank so um let me know what was your favorite item from the sale don't forget to check out the description box for everything that you need to know right down there and if you have questions or just want to say hey don't be shy pop into the comments i love to chat with you all and i will catch you all in another video very soon